Wait. No time to rest. Light on my feet. strategy back there? If we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Boulder's Gate. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already, and it seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. No, kid. No. Zevlor had belief. Didn't get him anywhere good. Besides, Raphael wasn't promising anything stupid. Protection for me and my kids, that's all. Not that it's any of your business. I'm not poking my nose into whatever trade you made with him. Pretty good job. If I had to deal with gods and worms in my head, I'd make a deal with anyone. Look, you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal, maybe I won't. 
but it'll be my choice. Not the devil's, and not yours. One of the worst things about getting old. Watching kids make the same exact mistakes you made. And knowing there's absolutely nothing you can say to change their mind. Then again, Moll's a hell of a lot smarter than I was at that age. Maybe she'll figure it out. True enough. She'll go far in the city. We've just got to get her there safely. Hmm. What can I get you? this time yes that's my first negotiation here pleasure doing business with you last light's best bargains right here Under at the finest stock. Skeleton key.
believe this. A blushing apple begging to be plucked? Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. <laughs> She's stubborn, yes. Bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But as ambitious as she is, Mole's no fool. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game, and she'll walk away. Then Raphael collects another trophy, and Mole sells her independence to the hells. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Mole would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at moonrise. They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravenguard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin, unless we put a stop to it. I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked farther from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tear's heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Fathers at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Thaniel is no ordinary child. He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, then perhaps we can save him. 
Save everything. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. The Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Soldier. Like I got something back. Something I've wanted for a really long time. When I touched you, I felt like a real person. My heart was racing, but I didn't hurt you. <laughs> I don't have to be afraid of myself anymore. I don't have to hold back. <laughs> Not sure the world's ready for unleashed Karlak, but it's getting it anyway. Thanks to Damon. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks to fate. Everyone that'll let me. Shake hands, dance a waltz, maybe even kiss a face or two if I find a good candidate. The world's my fun house. met Daniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Daniel. If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then he mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it, anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him, inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speaking to this man. I don't deserve you, my friend. We are fearsome black and... Listen. Hmm. Hmm. and me are... Clive. Clive. 
climbing up a tree. He keeps saying Daniel's name. He must know more. We need to rouse him. I don't deserve you, my friend. Controls report more activity among the... That's curious. My faith protects me. Quite ready for you. <laughs> All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Trust no one. What to do? Hmm. What's inside? On 
my way. Direct me. The lesson is death. It is. Traps, please.
These boots have seen everything. 